Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the types of internetworking guys. So the internetworking is possible in two different ways. That is nothing but in simple words, you can say connection oriented and connectionless. So connected virtual circuits it is called and connectionless internetworking. So the terms are written in that way only guys. Okay. So in simple words, you can say connection oriented circuits. That is nothing but subnets also. Okay. Okay, so let us first go through the di diagram and then I'll be explaining it to you and after that we'll be again going to the theory guys so that will be clear for you. Okay, so basically assume these are some networks guys. So inside these networks we are having multiple devices. Okay, so I've just drawn it some kind of symbol so that will be clear for you. Okay, so here we are having a square network and here we are having a rhombus and here like that multiple shapes we have just drawn guys. Okay, okay. So here I gave a host and a destination. So here in our diagram 2 is the host that is nothing but host is nothing but the sender. So he will be sending the data and D will be the destination. Okay. So now first of all it is a connection oriented. So first thing is that you need to establish a connection. So now your question will be why did I select this path? Why can't I select this path? You can select any one path guys. So for selecting these paths only we are having some routing algorithms also. So depending on those things you will be selecting the shortest path which will be better, which will be affordable to go. Okay. So assume that they selected this path. Okay. So you'll be transmitting, you will be starting the data and if it reaches here, it will be saying that where to go. So each and every networking node, it is nothing but a computer or a system will be having a routing table guys. So inside that table, they will be feeding the data like here the link is established right so this knows where to send this particular packet so every particular packet will be having an address right so based on that address it will be identifying that okay you should go in this way and they'll be routing them to the destination sorry for that okay so in this way the diagram works guys so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the diagram right okay so two is nothing but a host one is nothing but a destination m is nothing but multi-protocol router so it can send multiple protocols at a time and a dot here is nothing but routers okay okay so end to end connection oriented so you can call it in that way also so in the in the con in the concatenated virtual circuit model shown in the above figure a connection to be connection to a host in a distance network is set up in a way similar to the connection oriented are normally established so basically you will be establishing a connection directly from source to destination guys so only after the establishment of the path or the circuit only then you will be sending the data okay so the subnet sees that the destination is a remote and builds a virtual circuit to the router near to the destination okay so slowly it will be checking who is nearer it is nearer so again from here who is nearer this is near so finally traced in that way so then it con constructs a virtual circuit from the router to the gateway till the multi protocol router so this gateway record records the established records the establishment of the virtual circuit in its tables so basically the tables are stored in this multi protocol routers or you can say that those are nothing but routers also okay in the table and processes to build another virtual circuit to the next router okay in the next subnet or into the next router okay so the process continues until the destination is reached and finally slowly the packets will also move in that way okay so here the logic is nothing but here you will be starting here you will be sending the data from here to here similarly here to here here to here so here we will be having a table like where to go like that it will be going like that okay okay so the major advantage here is that buffers can be reserved in advance so basically you can have a buffer size of a limited size like 5 bits or 10 bits 20 bits 100 bits or any kind of number of bits which can automatically be stored at the destination so once they come they are all directly pushed into this buffer and they can wait for some time okay similarly sequence can be gu guaranteed so basically here we are sending one packet of the after the other or one bit after the other bit right so there is no chance of shuffling them because we are only using one particular path so if you notice in the diagram we are having multiple paths but we selected only this path because we are thinking that that is one of the best path to go okay okay so that is the reason why there is no chance of any kind of reverse or any kind of swaps similarly short headers can be used so basically one after the other packets are going so is there any necessary condition or necessary thing to write a header for in everything guys so if you write header for first thing and give somewhere the number as one sequence number and if you give for the next node if you give two indirectly we can connect to these two right so one after the two so in that way you can identify so there is no need to write the header again so here we are saving some space similarly the main disadvantages is that table space is needed 
so at every router or if every multi protocol router you need to maintain a table routing table so where to go based on the destination or based on the sequence number where to go is the question so that is the reason why you need to have a table to store them similarly no other routing is possible if congestion is occurred so basically if congestion is occurred that we know only one path right so if you know only one path you will blindly wait or you will be blindly you will be transmitting so that is the main disadvantage here okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we'll be going through connection less internetworking that is nothing but datagram model also you can say okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching